Okay, in this portion of the video, I'm going to show how to set the list index of a combo box and also how to clear the combo box. Setting a list index is pretty much just selecting an item inside the combo box, and I'm going to do that by first putting a button. And we'll rename this select item. I'm actually going to use the same input box option. X is equal to input box and I'm going to put what item would you want to select? Enter a number. And I'm not going to put any kind of if statements to check if it's an actual value. Instead I'll put on error resume next so if there's an error it's just going to ignore it. And I'm going to put sheet one dot combo box one and it should be list index. List index is equal to X. Now what I want to point out if this is your first time working with a combo box or a list box the very first item in your list is actually zero and the next item will be one. So I'm going to do select item and make sure you're out of design because if you're in design mode you're just going to go back to the visual basic environment. I'm going to keep put take us out of design mode, hit select item, and it's going to say what item would you like would you want to select? Um, enter a number. I'm going to put one, and it puts us to test two, which we said was index one because the first item is index zero. Now, if we were to put a five, we know that list index five does not exist in the combo box. We hit OK. Nothing's going to happen because we're using an on error resume next so because an error was detected it's just going to ignore this code if we were to remove remove the on error resume next I'm gonna put this as non executable code and we play the same thing we put a 5 we get an error could not set the list index property invalid property value so a good thing to have this error handling statement to go to the next line and ignore this piece of code and now I'm gonna show you one more thing on the combo box is how to clear it. I'm going to again add another item, another button. We'll call this clear. And this will be a very simple code. This is one line. Sheet one dot combo box one dot clear. Very simple piece of code. Take us out of design mode, play it, check our combo box, and it's completely clean. That concludes this portion of this video. Thank you for watching.